Hello, this is still Nadia from the Cognito Forms team. In this video, we're going to continue learning about creating payment forms. Now that we know how to create forms with both fixed and variable amounts, we're going to combine those two skills in order to sell products at fixed prices in multiple quantities. For this example, I'm using our t-shirt order form template. I'm offering t-shirts in multiple sizes, so the first thing I'm going to do is add a choice field with all the size options and prices. I'm then going to set the field type to radio buttons rather than checkboxes so that people can only select one size at a time. And I'm going to add another choice field with some different color options. If I just leave the form this way, my customers can select their shirt size and color and then order a single shirt. However, I want to give my customers the ability to order multiple shirts if they want. To do this, I'm going to add a number field labeled quantity. The style of the quantity field is up to you, but I'm going to use the spinner option, and then I'm going to limit customers to just five shirts per order. Next, I'm going to go back to my choice field settings and select the Specify Quantity option. This option allows you to map a quantity value to the choice field. This quantity value can be a number field set to the integer type or a calculation field set to the number type with zero decimals. When you click the drop down, you can select from any fields on your form that fit this criteria. In this case, it's the one we just added. So now, when we select a shirt size and a quantity, the quantity will be automatically multiplied by the price of the selected choice option. Finally, keep in mind that the Specify Quantity option is only available when the choice field type is set to radio buttons or dropdowns. 